Good morning and welcome back to At Dawn. And we're looking here today at the Lamentations of Jeremiah. We're in chapter 3, verses 10 through 12 now. Let's read it. He has been to me a bear lying in wait, like a lion in ambush. He has turned aside my ways and torn me in pieces. He has made me desolate. He has bent his bow and set me up as a target for the arrow. Now, I warned you at the beginning of this chapter that this is a very biographical chapter. We're getting some of these deep feelings of Jeremiah as he's seeking to be faithful to God, but very rough ride all the way through. In fact, only when you read Lamentations do you now, you can look back to those 52 chapters of the book of Jeremiah, and you can see now a lot more how, how rough of a ride it was. I think we're getting that right here as he's, he gives us a lot of history there, but over here he's, he's just, he's just, naked, putting his heart in front of you naked and showing you how rough it the feeling was along the way. So it feels here to the prophet like God is forcing him into these situations. You know, after all, he didn't, it wasn't his idea to be a prophet. It was God's idea. He said, I, I decided that you would be a prophet. Now notice he says it's like, it's like a bear or a lion and it feels pretty dangerous. I remember one occasion I was walking alone in the woods in northern Idaho and it came upon mommy bear with her two baby cubs. And she reared up on her hind legs and uh, was looking right at me and uh, was, was not sounding at all very happy. The cubs were way up the tree already almost instantly. But I can tell you that I very carefully beat a quick retreat there. I wasn't up for uh, uh, any bear wrestling. But you know what? Jeremiah says God has been like a bear laying in wait, like a lion, you know, ready to ambush him. And he felt sometimes like his, his life was at risk. And wasn't it? They put him on the bottom of the well. They, they, in every which way that they could have. If they could have killed him, they would have. They tried to kill him. You read the book of Jeremiah. So being a prophet, yes, it's, it's pretty rough. It's a pretty rough ride. And yet in serving God, sometimes our life is put at risk. God knows that. The prophet knows that. It doesn't make it any easier in the moment. Now, here's another problem, and I think you sort of get the flavor here. He has turned aside my ways and torn me in pieces. A lot of times we think that our plan for doing something is, is really good. You know, God, we, we, we even want to take time and try to persuade God. Listen, God, let me just reason with you. Once I explain this to you, you'll understand what, that this is a better plan than, than what it looks like you're doing. You know, it, it, it's kind of crazy to be thinking that the infinite God, the all-knowing God, that you you or me, that we're going to explain to him a, a better plan than what he had. That's, that's uh, totally absurd. And yet, you know, many times it must have happened in the life of, of so many of God's servants. We're, we learn later we can trust him. We learn as time goes on we can trust. Sometimes we're a little bit silly in terms of trying to show God a better path. Let's just settle it in our heart. God always has a better path than I do, just every time. And it'll be the same for you. So we need to make sure we've really sought out his path with prayer and being in the word and, and being in this, his spirit. He will show us the successful way forward for the kingdom. And that'll also be always the successful way forward for you and me. So keep in mind the lesson here that working for God is a very special assignment, very privileged assignment. And, you know, someday the rewards are going to be absolutely awesome. We're not worried about the rewards, really, but I'm sure God has some just unspeakable, extraordinary rewards for us someday. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, your leading and guidance for us sometimes is very mysterious. But that's okay with us, Lord. We can see it in the experience of Jeremiah. Help us to be just as faithful, just as faithful as these prophets of old. And so, Lord, I know your spirit is capable. I know that on our own, we are incapable. But, Lord, you be our strengthener. And, Lord, for your glory, do it. Thank you for hearing our prayers, Lord, and our request to you. In Jesus' name, amen. May you be blessed today as a servant. What a privilege, a servant of the Most High God.